We are doing our first night film at the infamous Point Set Bridge in far northern Greenville County, South Carolina. There's a monument here showing that the bridge was built in 1820, making it 191 years old and also the oldest bridge in the whole state of South Carolina. If you can picture, this would have been like the interstate of the day. This was the main highway, the coach road that led from Greenville to Asheville back then. The reason we're here is this place is well known as a haunted place as people have been said to have been buried under the bridge when it was built. There was reports of a couple of lynchings against African Americans in times past and many ghost hunter groups come out here and there's been orbs reported, weird sounds, all kind of stuff. Cars not starting, cell phones not working right. So we want to do us a nice shot here of the point set bridge on this night and I'm just walking down what was once the road and we're just approaching the bridge it's all made out of stone from the sides it's a beautiful um, classic arch bridge there's no doubt in my mind that this bridge will still be standing another 200 years from here it overflows a creek and I hate to say it but I really don't know the name of the creek I'll try to find out but it's actually a beautiful mountain brook here. You can hear it. And there's supposed to be native trout in here at certain times of the year. And I'll lean down here and we'll have us a nice little look. You can see the creek flowing by. Very tranquil, at least on the surface. And you can see up through the trees there, we got us a full moon going on too, and it kind of makes it a little more airy tonight. But we'll go ahead and continue walking slowly across the bridge. You wouldn't even hardly know it was a bridge because we're on a dirt path down here. And once you get over the bridge, the road itself made a sharp curve to the left. And for you hikers, you can hike for a long distance, I've been told, um, all the way up to these woods here. And now I am going to carefully, very carefully, make our way down um, to the bottom of the bridge so that we can see the archway and walk under the bridge. It's under the bridge from what I've researched and been told that a lot of phenomena has been recorded and noticed and has given reasons for people to have the jeebies. And it is a little bit slippery here. Um, still got a lot of leaves from last fall. So bear with me as I carefully make my way down here. Definitely don't want an accident it's not way out here in the middle of nowhere because we are indeed in far northern Greenville County. The local historians call this the dark country. And in this dark country, it was uh, the only part of South Carolina that was for the North during the Civil War. So the Southerners, true to the Confederacy, isolated the people that didn't go along with it to this section and they had to be self-contained during the Civil War. So a lot of strange things happened. And we'll take another shot of this absolutely beautiful creek cascading over here. And when I turn around, we're gonna see the arch of the bridge. And this is in bridge building. This is just classic stonework right here for anyone that admires this. And all this rock here is native granite that was cut on site when they built the bridge. And that's why it happened to be a stone bridge. And I'm going to approach the archway now. Again, wanting to be careful, it's pretty slippery on these rocks. And there's a good illumination. If there's anything here, I'd sure like to see it or hear it myself. And the point set bridge will show up on almost any source you look at on the internet if you start looking at haunted places in South Carolina. I mean, this, this has been known probably for more than a hundred years. And we're directly underneath the bridge. I thought I spotted something in the woods there, but I don't know if there's a piece of trash over there or some weird leaves. I don't know. It caught my eye. And I'll follow the creek as I change my direction here. Here we go. 
or stand here for just a moment underneath the bridge again. Again, even if you like the stone work, there's almost a weird pattern to some of this stone. I won't go as far as saying there's messages written on the wall, but over here, if the camera picks it up directly in front of me, it's almost a, a um, fluorescent glow to some of those stains. But it could be from the lighting. There we go again. Um, I'm colorblind, so bear with me, but it almost looks pinkish, purplish, squiggly marks. I don't think I've ever noticed that before out here. So we got a couple of more marks. And I might be seeing too. No, it almost looks like something carved in stone right here. I'll point to it with my finger, lettering perhaps. And over here a little bit. And we got a loose stone here. I don't ever remember seeing that before. So now we're going to make our way back up. Um, back up um, to the top of the bridge and back across it again. This time I'm going to try a different little pathway. And I'll give my lungs a breather as I'm climbing this steep grade. I've <laughs> um, been here many times by day. And I've talked to locals. Uh, never been here at night myself, so we planned this shoot in advance so that we could see what's going on. Now it's a relatively warm February evening except for where we're at. There's a definite dampness here, chill to the air. Not going as far as saying a mist or anything, not least yet, but it's definitely a darkening of um, feeling in the air, the atmosphere. And it'll be interesting when we study this film, if we do see any alleged orbs, and we're looking down the left-hand side of the creek, and we're finished crossing the bridge, and that'll end this clip of the Point Set Bridge at night.